Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, I'm feeling myself today. I'm just absolutely in love with my dreadlocks. Um, I got some, y'all, check out my clip-on earrings. These are literally clip-on. They're like vintage and they're my color. And I don't know if they kind of make me look like an old lady or not, but it's fine because they're comfortable and I'm afraid to get my ears pierced. I have like two nose piercings and my feet tattooed, but I'm afraid to get my ears pierced. Like what a weirdo. Um, so I washed my hair this morning. So that was an interesting first. Um, I knew my dreadlocks would be high maintenance. Um, and I'm learning, <laughs> I'm learning. So this morning I went and fueled up my gas tank because tomorrow Winston and I are heading up north. It is finally time. It's finally time to head up north. I cannot believe that it's April 9th and we have yet to leave the desert. Like it's literally killing me. We've been in the desert for six months, which is longer than usual. Not even gonna lie. Um, we had such a wet, cold, unusual winter. I remember three years ago at this time, I was already up in Flagstaff, but they just got snow. Payson just got snow. It's been wild. So we're finally heading up north and I'm very much looking forward to it because we will hit 90 degrees tomorrow in the Phoenix Valley. And I think by the weekend, it's supposed to be about 96, which means that up north, it's going to be like 70 to 75 every single day. And I'm finally going back to my mom's trailer in Payson that we started remodeling back in September. Finally got the floors in. Mom finally got the floors in. And the bathroom is almost done. Like the floors, the cabinet, the sink, new toilet, all of that is done. It's just the shower that's left. So over the next few days or the next week, I will be showing you more of that because we are going to get back to the house finally. I was up there in December, but it was really cold and it was brief and mom and I didn't do any work on the house like for those three days because we were just like chilling and hanging out. So that is the plan. Um, meanwhile, I am getting ready. I'm at my other home base. I left my mom's. I'm at my other home base. Uh, we've been here barely 24 hours. We'll be here not even another 24 hours. So a super brief stint. But in the meantime, I vacuumed the van after I got fuel this morning. I need to get groceries. My water is done and my laundry is done. I did a lot at my mom's house this weekend. I'm also going to pack my heater because I took it out of my rooftop box, but we will have like I think one like 39 or 40 degree night. Other than that, it'll probably be around 45 every night, which is prime sleeping weather for me and kiddo. I guess with that being said, this is just gonna kind of be like a video of me doing van things to get ready for our trip up north. I think we'll probably be there about a week. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> All right, guys, like and subscribe, and let's just get right into it. Ooh, the only thing about these earrings is I've got my hair stuck in it. Ouch. <laughs> okay, um, well, so let's see. So I just realized the other day that I have my Jackery 240 in my storage down here, and I haven't taken it out in a while. So I want to take it out and make sure that, like, it's still working. Oh, here's baby wipes. Okay, good. That's on my list. So, ooh, it's nice and cool. Oof. And it's at 100%. My, my trusty... Jackery. I'm actually going to take it out because I want to make some more space. All right. Do I need coffee bags out yet? Down here, I keep my 
stuff that I restock, right? Swiffers, lint roller, coffee bags, utensils. And I wanted to see how much butane I have down here, which I have two cans. And I just made more space because I took out the Jackery. Swiffers. Keep my laundry detergent down here as well. Sponges, my laundry bag. I think I'm just going to put this butane in here as well because it stays so cool down here. And the storage can do that. Oh, also, I finally <laughs> snagged a lid for my pan for cooking my burgers a little bit better with the cheese on them. Okay. A bit more stuff in there, honestly. I don't really think I need to. I wanted to check how much butane I have because I'm going to be bringing the heater up to pace in, but I have more than enough, especially because I'm only going to be up there a week and I won't even need the heater that much. Okay, so there's that. While I'm at it, I can put this behind here. Just doing van things. Keep that there. Good. Yes. Okay. Oh, wait. This has to go back. Okay. Should do it. Ooh. It's gonna be a toasty one today. I don't like it. I'm glad I'm leaving. <laughs> it is way too hot for me. I don't like it. One bit. That's why I live in a van most of the time, so I can not be in this heat. That's why I like having wheels. Good. Ooh, that breeze feels good. Ooh, the mail lady's here. The mail lady's here, and I just sent out several more sticker orders, which reminds me that I literally have three of the six sticker bundles left. That's the two main stickers and the four small stickers. I have three bundles left, then they are sold out, and I'm currently waiting on more stickers because they were just ordered yesterday. You guys are amazing. Um, the sticker orders really helps me out, especially because I've just, I've had a rough last month and I haven't been putting out as much content. So thank you. <laughs> because it really it really does help me out like more than you guys know so sticker orders in the mail and I'm all caught up with them so I grabbed my butane heater I've talked about this before this thing is amazing I think I'll only need to use it briefly in Payson but I got it out I you guys know how much I love my sparkling water they have new flavors. I just wanted to tell you guys, they have new flavors of the Waterloo. They have summer berry and I just got groceries, obviously. The raspberry or yeah, raspberry nectarine and also a tropical punch. That's my least favorite. My my favorite is the summer berry, but look for those. I get mine at Fry's grocery store, aka Kroger. But Waterloo's a main brand, so I'm sure you can get it like at a ton of different places. So I got those. I had to get new uh, cards to send the stickers out in. I got wipes. I wanted to go to Costco for my baby wipes because that's where they're cheapest and I like the Kirkland ones. But I just had to get some Huggies at the grocery store to tide me over. Ooh, that breeze feels good. What else was I going to tell you guys? Oh yeah, I have extra stuff in my van because Maddie had stuff sent to my house and I wasn't planning on being here. I planned on going from my mom's house up north, but Maddie had stuff sent to my house and I didn't realize it. And because he didn't know that I was going to be, I wasn't going to be home at all 
like the last couple of weeks. So I ended up coming home for 48 hours because he had stuff sent to the house. So I had stuff sent to the house. And because he is going to meet me up in Payson at some point because he's actually going to do a couple things at my mom's house for her. So I have stuff to bring to him. So I have those things going on. And one of the reasons I actually stayed at my mom's house longer this weekend was because I have a doctor appointment. I go to the doctor like every six months because I have a stupid cyst on my thyroid. So it's monitored and I get like blood work every six months. But, and, um, I discussed my weight loss with my doctor and this is this doctor's office I've been going to for 25 years like ever since I lived in Arizona and my doctor was so proud of my weight loss I am officially down 20 pounds this year that was my goal so I'd like to lose another five so 25 pounds is my new goal but I haven't been this light in four plus years he verified on the record so um I was, evil, I was even able to come off of a medication and I'm feeling amazing and he was telling me yesterday how proud he is of me and I was telling him because he asked me how I lost the weight. Of course, as doctors do, they want to make sure you're not like starving yourself or something, right? So I told him um, about my intermittent fasting regimen and my high protein and he just thought that was awesome and it's really no big secret you know, about being mindful of what you put into your body. So I'm, I'm very just happy overall with my physical health. He was thrilled. I mean, he literally told me how proud he is of me, which was exciting. So I got my six month, uh, checkup and blood work out of the way. Um, and now I can just like go up to Payson and continue on. I, I hope I hope that the stressful crap that I've been going through for the last four months is just done, is done. I'm like, I'm just done with it, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling the best physically and it's easy to stay motivated right now when you see the progress and you're putting the work in. So I got to finish cleaning out my van, getting it packed up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video of me just doing and discussing van things. We will have some pine tree content coming for you in the next week. And I will be showing you updated footage of my mom's super cute vintage 1970s trailer once I get over there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe and I will see you next time.